Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about the incline bench. The reason I've done so is that a few people pointed out to me there are other YouTubers who are performing the incline bench in a way that is going to damage your shoulders over time. And I thought I would share that with you guys and teach you guys the, the correct way to do these things. Why bring this up at all? Why should you be talking about this? Well, quite simply because I am older than dirt. I still lift very, very heavy weight, as most of you guys know, and I'm not all snapped up and injured. Most of these guys who are teaching you guys things on YouTube, they're going to be injured eventually. If you imitate what they do, you're going to be injured eventually, and because they are not your coaches and you have no contract with them you're not going to be able to sue them it's just going to be you injured while they collected money from you for watching the videos they're actually going to profit you're the one who's going to be hurt but then again they're also going to be hurt so i guess karma will still catch up to them in the end but that's not going to help you guys any now two of the most recent offenders i've seen would be uh, nick wright who you guys know he's pretty famous long-term fitness youtuber who is also known for being injured pretty often hurting himself and uh, if you look at the way that he does the incline bench versus how you just saw my girlfriend Brittany doing it you will notice that he has his elbows flared as he's down at the bottom his elbows in his case when nick does it are usually almost behind the bar in relation to his head that puts an enormous amount of stress on your rotator cuffs and training that way over time particularly with that wide grip like he does is going to injure you it's going to damage your rotator cuffs if you do this too often too long and too heavy you will eventually need a shoulder surgery in your rotator cuffs now as long as nick has been doing this and with all the other injuries he sustained such as back injuries and everything else i'm actually surprised he's managed to not destroy his rotator cuffs yet uh, it's really surprising also you guys will notice cassidy campbell doing the exact same thing and if you guys don't know who Cassidy Campbell is, that's that trained to look good naked guy who goes around asking women which physique of other men they find more attractive and like who they would like to sleep with. And uh, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to delve into what could be going on psychologically with that. But we're going to focus purely upon his incline bench. Again, you see the exact same technique being demonstrated. Like who teaches these guys this crap? Not that it really matters who teaches it to them because we're going to correct it now and we're going to teach you guys how to do this without injuring yourself. Now, you'll notice one of the things I do, I get up under here. Obviously, I have a spotter for heavy incline. I don't always use one, but sometimes I do. If it's going to be heavy enough, I'm worried about failing. You'll notice I dig in tight. Shoulder blades get pulled back before I grab the bar. Again, notice I'm setting myself so that I'm in scapular retraction. I'm using a narrow grip, a closed grip, because it puts less stress on your rotator cuffs. And I press down low on my chest, not high on my chest. Notice my elbows are tucked at the bottom due to the bar placement, the bar path, and me using a narrow grip, a closed grip. It puts less stress on the rotator cuffs while putting you through a longer range of motion. This is how you prevent injuries. This helps you get injured at a lower rate. Now you'll notice I have my girlfriend Brittany, who again people have noted for a little while her amazing progress lately. She's recompositioned tremendously, lost 30 pounds, but more importantly, she is injury free so far. She had shoulder problems and hip problems, like actual injuries and things that we had to rehabilitate to get her to training. So for her, we had to pay a lot of extra attention to these things. Shoulder injuries are definitely a concern for her due to her work, her profession. It's really a problem uh, if she gets injured. We simply cannot afford for that to happen. So just like many of you who can't afford an injury like that, notice her bar path, elbows tucked, closed grip bench, just shoulder whip with grip, and again, she touches fairly low on the chest. And I'll give you guys a front view so you can see just how much elbow tuck is going on. Again, her grip is shoulder width, which is a closed grip. Elbows are tucked there. See how much they're tucked? They're at a 45 degree angle from her body at the bottom, and she touches fairly low on the chest. And again, she is injury free from it, has no shoulder pains, etc. If you watch these other guys do it, you guys are going to hurt yourselves eventually. It's just a matter of time. It might be years and it might be years down the road before you feel it enough to need a surgery. But why in the world would you want to do something to improve yourself that ends up just injuring you and causing you pain and surgeries down the road? It just doesn't make any sense. Most of you guys are lifting because you want to better yourselves. So please don't listen to ass clowns like Nick Wright 
and Cassidy Campbell who are showing you guys horrific methods are going to hurt you. They're going to hurt themselves and they really shouldn't be so irresponsible as to demonstrate what they do on video and I really wish that they would stop. But we can't expect that in the real world. There's no way to stop them. So instead, I'm just going to teach you guys a better way and hopefully it sticks. So I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.